For a new study published this week, researchers at the Salk Institute used human stem cells to create pig embryos containing a small number of human cells. A pig embryo is at about four weeks old and uh, injected with the human iPS cells. The experiments were not as successful as the lab's other attempts to grow rat organs in mice. The red color here is the liver and above it is a heart. But Salk researcher Jun Wu says he and his colleagues did see some of the human cells starting to turn into the early stages of developing organ tissue. We see the human cells become the precursor of the cardiomyocyte, the heart, and also the, the liver, the pancreas, and the gut. So the potential is there. Creating human-animal hybrids has been seen by some as a potentially promising way to grow transplantable organs in animals to help human patients. But this research has also been the subject of ethical concern. Some worry about the possibility of creating animals with partially human brains. And on the back, you can see the spinal cord. Human cells were not found in the central nervous system of the early stage embryos in this study, but Wu says he shares those concerns. There's still a possibility that in the future studies that we can find the human cells in the brain of the pig at the early stages. That's why we, in this study, we only choose to stop the pregnancy at a three to four weeks old. Scientists not involved in the study told KPBS that researchers will need to continue exploring the basic science of creating human-animal hybrids for some time. But they said this study establishes important groundwork for developing new ways of meeting demand for organ transplants. David Wagner, KPBS News.